Hi everyone, today I'm going to let you know that I am going to stress myself out. <laughs> no, but really, um, I'm here to tell, to tell you that I'm participating in the booktube spin ran by Rick. Um, if you guys are subscribed to me, then you probably are, you probably already know him or know somebody that knows him. Um, so, here is my 20 books that I've decided, or should I say, that my husband decided to give me to possibly read depending on what numbers, or what number is chosen. Oh, you guys wish me luck, and, um, this, this book probably won't be done in the allotted time, but I wanted to participate in something and this one seemed like as good as a good thing to participate in so here we go with the list <clears throat> um also what I did instead of knowing what number all these books are in, I just randomly did it. Um, I put, I put books, or I put numbers one through 20 on a notepad on my computer. And I just wrote down the titles of the books, not knowing exactly where everything was going. So that's how I did it. Um, so I don't know exactly what book I'm going to get when he announces it, but this is my 20 books anyway and the first one is the guardian by nicholas sparks there is a cat in the box um shadows by john soul I have read one of his books before and really liked it. I now have the same book in a bind up that I have of his. So I'm going to reread it someday when I get around to it. Um, the next one is Deathmatch by Lincoln Child. Oh, and my husband, um, just so you guys know, absolutely hates me. And when I get to the books, some of the books that he's chosen for me, you'll know why. Um, Bright, Ca Bright Captivity by... Eugenia Price. I probably didn't say her name right, but sorry about that. The girl with the dragon tattoo. My husband has tried to read this and didn't like it. 
so he wants me to try to read it so that if I don't like it, we can take it back to half price books for a little bit of money. Um, it looks like he got two page 140, 141 before he stopped. So we'll see about this one. Actually, he wants me to unhaul the whole series before I even try to read it, but I'm not going to do that because that's not something I do unless I try to read it and find out I don't like it. Um, Message in a Bottle by Nicholas Sparks. There's a lot of Nicholas Sparks in here. Mostly because my husband does most of putting my books on my shelf. And there's only one shelf or one shelf in my book room that I can get to. And my husband has but all the Nicholas Sparks books where I can reach them. So I've got a few Nicholas Sparks books in here. Postmortem by Patricia Cornwell. I've got a lot of books from this series, so I need to start reading them at some point. Flowers in the Attic by B.C. Anders. I have seen this movie, but I've never re read the book. So, and I'm not sure what that mess is right there. Um, I got this as a used copy. And... It was the only one they had. So I'm going to, if I ever see this book again, I'm going to pick it up probably and get rid of this copy because that's gross. <clears throat> uh oh. Just because some of these books are big and if I do get this one, I'm already reading it, so it'll be done probably in the two months. That is allotted for this book. Um, that's going to be in this then. But it's Salem Falls by Jody Pickle. You guys know that I'm already reading that one. Um. This one is The Lucky One by Nicholas Sparks. <laughs> this one is The Last Song by Nicholas Sparks. I've watched this movie, but it's been a while ago. I really like the movie when I saw it, but I haven't read the book. <laughs> but I watched the movie with my mom when I was living with her. So that's how I've seen most of my movies. Because we used to have movie nights or whatever. Um, 
on the weekends when she was off work. It's kind of weird now that she actually lives in one of the nursing homes that she used to work at, but that's what we've got now, so let's see what we're working with. <sighs> the next one is Fool by Christopher Moore. If you see how big some of these are, you'll know why I said my husband hates me. <laughs> 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. The Notebook by Nicholas Sparks. I pretty much could say that I've got all of his, but I don't, so... Yeah. <clears throat> Born Wicked by Jessica Spotswood. White Oleander by Janet Finch. And this is, again, one of the movies that my mom and I watched together, watched together, so I've actually seen the movie but never read the book. But I loved the movie, so I want to read the book at some point. And I'm probably going to keep it, which is why I got it in hardcover instead of paperback. Okay, the last two of these books is why I said my husband hates me. Because he picked out Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld. That's a big one. And he also picked out, as if with my over 800 books, he couldn't find other books to pick out for me. He also picked out The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. So, now that you guys know my husband officially hates me, um, no, I'm joking, but still, that is all I've got for you today, and I will let you guys go. Thanks for watching. Bye.